Speaking of playing wrestler, are you serious that they spend all this time building up Lance Archer, introducing Lance Archer? Lance Archer is a murder hawk. Lance Archer is a bad, bad man. He's a bad man. And his debut on television comes wrestling Marco stunted growth. The visual alone already put Lance Archer in a comedy spot. Then, and by the way, the Jake's promo was great. I, it's too bad Archer can't do that promo because then he might actually get over because uh, <laughs> Jake does a great promo of getting Jake over. Archer comes out, he lays out a crew member that they don't even catch on camera, and then the guy's just laying there, and it's goofy, and he's getting into the ring to wrestle a guy that's a foot and a half shorter than he is and 150 pounds fucking lighter than he is. And he, the first thing he does is clothesline Marco Stunt, and afterwards Marco Stunt is still awake. That means they buried fucking Lance Archer after all this time. And some people can say, well, they were short on talent. Well, in that case, then have anybody else wrestle? Yes, I said anybody else. Even dork order number eight or number nine could have wrestled Lance Archer. It wasn't about he's going to beat a guy that they like so he'll get heat. I'm sure that's how they justified it by putting this little fucking midget on goddamn television. But in actuality, it once again made it look ridiculous. He toyed with Marco Stunt, but it buried Lance Archer in the process that Stunt would live through any of this. I wrote down in capitals, why would this match be made if it was a real occurrence, if this was a real sport? Why would this match even be made? This can't be taken seriously. Archer looks like an idiot. And then after Stunt had taken bump after bump, he starts running away, zero to hero, and then actually starts rocking him. The stick and move, he's got enough after he's been clotheslined and been suplexed across the ring and been whatever the fuck else he's, this guy's done to him, then he's got enough energy and, to do all of that and then start rocking fucking Lance Archer. Embarrassing. And then finally, Archer choke slams him, boom, picks him up, and then forward slams him, one, two, three. <laughs> After a Lance Archer choke slam on this little fucking goof, he should have been such dead weight because he was completely unconscious. You couldn't pick him up and hit him with that finish. So he should have just hit him with the fucking finish first. But by that point, it was a lost cause. And then he fucking comes back and flings Marco Cunt into a group of catchers that were standing there at ringside specifically to catch him. And did I see my little dog Pockets laughing about getting wiped out by Marco Stunt? When he was on the ground, little dog Pockets was laughing. I didn't notice that. That's what it looked like to me. Somebody else can go back and look, and if I'm wrong, I'll admit it. But what the, f why would you do this to Lance Archer after you've spent all that time trying to make something out of this fucking guy and he's involved with Jake the Snake and they've come out and confronted Cody, a top guy, and then his debut of all is against a fucking small child to make the just everybody laugh and giggle about it to begin with. I don't get it. Uh, a lot of people think maybe it's to set up Luchasaurus looking for revenge. Well, that's the worst thing they could do. Lance Archer versus Luchasaurus. We've established that the fucking dino douche, as MJF called him. By the way, I was watching this fucking program because I was afeard I might miss MJF if he was on. There was no such luck. He was having a party um, on Twitter, if you hadn't noticed. Well, I, I didn't notice because I was watching this show on television, but where he should have been. They should just give him the fucking two hours and let him fill it and it'd be a safe shot. But anyway, the dino douche, he can't fucking sell. He's a klutz. Remember, he was potatoing all of his own partners and opponents in that one match. And he will make Lance Archer look smaller and less impressive because 
he's got a big ass fucking body. Does Luchasaurus better body than fucking Lance Archer? And he's probably almost as tall. So the last thing you want until your new uh, allegedly top heel Lance Archer is over is to put him in the ring with a guy with a more impressive physique and almost the height that is not as advanced in the ring as he is. And it'll just serve to diminish Archer rather than improve an issue. So that would be even worse. The uh, murder Hawk monster, I believe he was called. I thought he showed good intensity. I've never really been a big fan of his. I think if he's going to murder people, he may want to start with whoever his tattoo artist is. <laughs> but you'd have talked about the last few weeks that Jake promo seemed to be putting Jake over more than his actual charge. Well, they don't really put Jake over more. They just get Jake over more. Because you want to listen to him and you want to watch him. And it's... And, you know, I, it, it, some of it's not even his, Jake's fault. It's just that Jake is just a more interesting fucking evil human being than these other fucks. Take Marco's stunt out of the equation. You have Lance Archer making his debut, showing his intensity, just killing the guy, except for the stupid moment where all of a sudden he gets a little bit of offense in Marco's stunt. Did you feel Jake was missing at ringside? I mean, that's the, that was the big thing I was thinking watching it. It was like, okay, they're getting him over to the best that they can as a killer heel, was Jake really needed at ringside for that? And I thought it was no. I, I didn't think that there was anything missing not having Jake there. Well, there wasn't in terms of the match because Jake wouldn't have done anything in this match. He shouldn't have done anything. If he had interfered, then oh, what are they going to do? Have Jake interfere to help Lance Archer beat this fucking idiot? No, but if you're selling a package, the whole package needs to be there. Even if it was a, a, in Atlanta TV, if it was a squash match with two job guys in the Midnight Express, but I was off having knee surgery, people are like, where's Cornette? It takes away it, the package you're selling. It doesn't mean that Jake needed to be there to add anything to that match, but if you're going to sell Jake and Lance Archer together, they always need to be together. Obviously, they couldn't be because Jake is a senior citizen like me, and couldn't travel or couldn't be there or whatever, so I understand that. But does it hurt? Yes, a little bit, because you always want to see what you're presenting on TV together, together. So he should have been, but he couldn't. Be, and, and we're not going to take points off because he couldn't be in this instance, <clears throat> especially if nobody told him where Parts Unknown was. Jake's probably immune to coronavirus. The guy drinks his own piss. Oh, boy, I tell you, with the health issues that he's had, I'm sure he has some fucking susceptibility to something. But anyway, so they bury poor Lance Archer by trying to get him over and just not knowing how to do it and using the wrong people. 